Hello and welcome back to this low-level JavaScript series on building a 16-bit virtual machine from scratch. In the last few episodes, we've been working on building a parser for the assembly language that we'll be using to communicate with the machine. It took two full episodes to implement a parser for a single instruction, move literal to register. But by the end of this episode, we'll have a parser that can handle every single instruction that this machine currently supports and an easy way to support new instructions as they're added. Now, the parser file was beginning to get a bit out of hand, so I did a little bit of cleaning up behind the scenes. No functional changes, purely related utilities and parsers in their own files. For example, all the type mapping functions have been moved to types.js and given names. All of the commonly used parsers, the ones that get atomic elements like registers and hex literals, they've been moved to common.js. The parsers and supporting code for square bracket and bracketed expressions have been moved to their own file called expressions.js. The index.js file currently just includes our parser for move and the code for testing it. So with that housekeeping out of the way, let's start out with the rest of the move instructions. We can extract the existing move code into a new file and bring in the required dependencies. The next move instruction that we can tackle is move register to register, and it's actually very simple. We can copy paste the code for move literal to register as a base, replacing the code for getting a literal expression for arg1 with a code that gets a register. For clarity here, I'll also rename arg1 and arg2 to r1 and r2, and change the instruction we return to move reg reg, and the args to r1 and r2. Next up is move reg to mem. Again, we can copy and paste the previous instruction as a base. Our code capturing the register won't change, but the second part of the instruction needs to capture an address. Now, our addresses are going to be differentiated from literals by having an ampersand character before the hex number instead of a dollar sign. We need to capture a few addresses, so let's add a common parser for it. First, we can create a type function in types.js, exporting it afterwards. Then in common.js, we can create an address parser, exactly the same as hex literal, only capturing an ampersand instead of the dollar sign and mapping it to the correct type. We can export address and bring it into our move instruction file. The second argument will be captured as an address, but like the move literal to register, the address can actually be inside a square bracket expression. So instead, let's make this a choice between the address parser or the ampersand character chained into a square bracket expression. That will allow us to capture instructions in this form. Finally, we can just change the instruction and the arguments at the end of the function. Move memory to register is almost the same, only we need to switch the order of the arguments that we capture. After we've swapped those around, we can change the instruction and flip the order of the arguments inside the array. Next up, we've got move literal to memory. It's a pretty similar story here. I'll just copy the move register to memory parser since it's almost the same, modify the name, and then replace the register argument with a choice between a hex literal and a square bracket expression. The name of this instruction becomes move lit mem, and the r1 becomes lit in the arguments. Move register pointer to register is next. And this is the instruction where we want to get the value in memory pointed to by the address stored in a register. So we need a way to distinguish this instruction from a regular move register to register. And since we've already used the ampersand for when literals refer to addresses, we can actually just reuse that convention here too. So R1 will become the ampersand character chained to a register. And as before, we can update the instruction name in the return type. The final move is move literal offset to register. And that's where we get a literal, a register, and then another register. And we use the first register as a pointer and the literal as an offset. And adding those two together, we get an address and we move the value of that address into the second register. It's by far the most convoluted instruction in the whole virtual machine, but it's really quite useful for dealing with more complex structures that take up multiple bytes in memory. And as a little side note, it's also the only instruction that ever takes three operands. For the engineers that work on building real processes, this is the instruction that would drive them absolutely crazy because they'd need a whole bunch of extra hardware inside the chip that would only ever be used for this one instruction. 
but it's really convenient for the VM and we don't have to pay a hardware price for it. Perhaps one day on this channel, we'll try and empathize with those poor engineers and build our own hardware CPU. We'll change the name of this instruction and get the literal value before we get the register. Then we can copy over these lines that represent comma separation and paste it below. And since this register is acting as a pointer, we're going to use the same ampersand chain trick as we did before. Finally, we change the name and we set the arguments correctly in the return value. And at the end of this file, we can just export a single parser that is a choice between all of our different moves. So let's ensure that that move parser can indeed handle all the situations that we can throw it. So move literal to register should still work. And in this case, we would expect to move register to register, which we get. For move register to memory, let's use a square bracket expression in the address and see if it can handle that. Move memory to register. Moving a literal value to memory. Move register pointer to register. And finally, the move literal offset to register with its three operands. So all of these are being correctly recognized by the parser. Excellent. So going back to the move instructions, you can see all the parsers for move are actually quite similar. They only differ in what kind of arguments they take. And you can probably also see that something like add register to register is going to be almost exactly the same as move register to register, only really differing in the instruction mnemonic that we pass first and the instruction identifier that we return in the end. So we can make all of this more general by modifying the move parsers to instead be functions that take arguments for the instruction mnemonic and the type and write any remaining combinations of other instructions that we might need. So right now there are actually 10 valid combinations of arguments that our instructions take in this virtual machine. We have literal then register, register then register, register then memory, memory then register, literal then memory, register pointer then register, literal offset register register, instructions that take no arguments, or instructions that take a single register, or a single literal. So let's start by transforming the moves that we have into more general parsers. Move lit to reg becomes lit reg, a function taking a mnemonic and a type and returning a parser. We can switch the string move out for the instruction mnemonic and the type at the end of the function as well. With a single function call, we can now generate a parser for move, add, sub, multiply, and, or, xor, left shift, and right shift. And of course we can do all the same things for move register to register, which opens up all the alternate forms of the operations I just mentioned. Move register to memory becomes regmem, and as well as supporting the move instruction, we can allow for all the conditional jump instructions. Jump not equal, jump equal, jump less than, jump greater than, jump less than or equal, and of course jump greater than or equal. The opposite, memory register, is currently only used in move, but for the sake of consistency we're going to convert that anyway. Move literal to memory is going to become lit mem, and again, it's going to support move, but it's also going to support all of those conditional jumps. Reg pointer reg is move only, but again, we'll convert it for consistency. And like I previously mentioned, literal offset to register is very much a bespoke argument format for move, in spite of the angry hardware engineers. That leaves us with the three formats that we haven't covered in move itself. No arguments, single register, or single literal. I'll scroll back up here and copy the code for lit reg. We can rename it to no arg and then delete everything from where we capture the instruction monic down to the last optional whitespace. And of course, removing the two arguments in the return type as well. Then we can paste again. This time it's going to be a single reg and we can delete from arg1 down to just before arg2 where we capture the register. We can rename that to R1 and return that in the end in the arguments. And finally, for single lit, we delete everything under arg1 until the final optional whitespace, and then we can rename arg1 to lit and return it in the args. All that's left to do now is to export all of these generic parsers. 
we'll rename this file formats.js and we'll open up a new file called instructions.js. Bringing in all the dependencies we need along with the formats.js file, we can start to implement all of these instructions. Move is simple, we've actually already written that once this episode, so none of this should be a surprise. For the add instruction, there are actually two forms, add register to register and add literal to register. We can cover those with reg reg and the lit reg generic parsers. And actually, all of the binary operations are going to take this exact form. So we have sub, multiply, left shift, right shift, and or an XOR. Increment register and decrement register, they only use the single register format, so there's no need to have a choice here. Likewise, the not instruction only operates on a single register. Jump if equal actually has two forms, regmem and litmem. And of course, all of the conditional jump instructions are the same for that. So we have jump not equal, less than, greater than, less than or equal, and greater than or equal. Push has a literal form and a register form, so we use single lit and single reg. Pop, on the other hand, only has the register form. And like push, call can only take a single register or a single literal. Lastly, the return and the halt instructions have no arguments at all. And now that we have all of those instruction parsers, let's create a single parser for instruction that's simply a choice between all these different groups that we've made. We can export that and bring it into the main file and try a few examples out. And as you can see, all of our various combinations of different instructions can be passed properly. If you've ever been frustrated by YouTube's algorithm not showing you when new low-level JavaScript videos are available, then you might want to check out tinyletter.com forward slash low-level JavaScript to get new videos delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you to all the patrons of low-level JavaScript for your continued support, feedback, and enthusiasm. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.